Almost like we never left Los Angeles in the exciting Olympic Games. This man won the gold medal in the newly formed super heavyweight class, 201 pounds plus. But now, as a, a professional in his professional debut, and from here on, it will be unlimited weight from 175 pounds on. Tyrell Biggs of Philadelphia, twice world champion, national sports festival champion, six feet five inches tall. He's got a little added weight, 223 pounds. He has trained hard and has changed his style. Let's look back at Los Angeles and Tyrell Biggs. Tyrell has said repeatedly that this little fellow, Tyrell Jr., has been the inspiration for his boxing career. A career that had its first high point at the 1982 World Championships at Munich, when he met Italian Francesco Damiani in the super heavyweight final. Biggs scored a split decision victory. Biggs then met, later in the year, the great tail feel of Stevenson of Cuba. And that body punch by Stevenson broke Biggs' ribs in round two. Biggs winced in pain. It was the beginning of the end as Stevenson scored a sensational knockout in the next round. It was a devastating defeat for Tyrell Biggs, and he wept openly with the disappointment. He came back earlier this year to beat Damiani at the World Championship Challenge in Los Angeles. Primarily because of his jab and scoring a 4-1 to decision and winning his second world title. Then on to the United States Olympic Team box office, where he was upset by Craig Payne, forcing this rubber match in which Biggs managed to score enough points to win a very close decision. And when the verdict of the judges was announced, Tyrell's reaction reflected his excitement of being a member of the United States Olympic Team. In the Olympic Finals, Biggs again met Francesco Damiani, and again he won a 4-1 to decision to become the first super heavyweight gold medalist in Olympic history. It had been a long and sometimes rocky road to this unforgettable moment. Earlier, we asked Tyrell to make a prediction on his first pro fight. I'm not going to predict a knockout or anything like that, but I am going to, uh, I am going to go after this, uh, one thing and, and, uh, and, people are going to see this and that's going to be uh, I'm going to get respect for my punching power the, uh, people my opponents my opponents are going to respect my punching power and the people are going to see that I do have punching power Beggs's opponent is a former college wrestler now an actor and boxer Mike Evans of Chicago you may recognize him from this Budweiser light commercial watch hey, how's everybody go see you good I hear the same about you. The best. It has a hey. taste all its own. You get your chance. And tonight, Mike Evans gets his chance in an important heavyweight bout against Tyrell Biggs. We asked him about his opponent. Well, Biggs is a... Uh, first of all, I give Biggs all the respect because the man improved to, to be uh, a great fighter. He won the Olympics, the World Games. Uh, and had uh, 100 for 90 to fight before you knock out. You can't walk in the ring and say, this, uh, this, this guy can't hit hard, this guy's a punk, this guy's this. Because the man improved himself to be an awesome fighter, a great boxer. Uh, uh, you can't uh, just look over them things. You have to look straight ahead and get a man in credit from doing that. But coming to the ring, uh, all respect Lee, once you know I step into the ring, he was another man. Two arms, two legs, and he bleed like me. Well-spoken big heavyweight from Chicago, Mike Biggie Evans. This is the heavyweight bout coming up. Olympic gold medalist Tyrell Biggs. And hopefully, a great career ahead for Mike Evans. Here he is, no headgear, no sleeveless shirt. Eight-ounce thunderous gloves. Listen to that reception from the Madison Square Garden crowd. Luis Rivera, a former fighter from the Bronx, New York, is giving them their final instructions. He knocked down with under five automatically. This is to my command at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Check hand with the better sound of a fighter. Good luck. You can see that Biggs is taller at six feet five inches, whereas Mike Evans is six two. The reach is about the same as we see the tail of the tape, our overhead shot of this huge 22 by 22 ring 
right in the center of vast Madison Square Garden. There he is in a new movie, City Heat, to be released in December with Burt Reynolds and Clint Eastwood. Now, he's confronted with Tyrell Biggs, who says he has a new style, will punch more. He is fast for a big man. Fast hands, fast feet. And he is less mobile early here in the first round. Didn't like that body punch thrown by Evans. Evans with hands held high. But that left hand gets through. Biggs has a tremendous left jab and a fast one. It's stiff. A lot of credentials, this man from Philadelphia. Very carefully looking at his opponent. Trying to find the range and to see what will happen. Blocked nicely by Evans. Evans backing away from what he thought was going to be a combination. This is scheduled for six. We've had one bout go the distance. Evander Holyfield was tested by Lionel Byarm of Philadelphia. The others ended early. Next now will be Mark Brillen following this bout. Vixen White, Mike Evans of Chicago and Rand. It's very refreshing to see Biggs is more of a set fighter, wide stance, less up in his toes. What he lacked probably is in his amateur career was punching power. He just unloaded a beautiful combination. It was short, but he'll find the range. Evans has had only five fights. One, three, one loss and a draw. He has been knocked out once, his first pro bout. He is a former wrestler at LSU in Baton Rouge and Joliet Junior College in Illinois. Hampton Institute, Tyrell Bigson's college, as a basketball player, keep six up, feet five up, and white. And again, it's, it's, it's a very professional first round for his debut, Tyrell Biggs. Setting, trying to get the opponent set up for what he hopes will be a solid right hand. Meanwhile, that jab is keeping Evans off balance. It's menacing. The crowd, well, they have seen so much hard punching in the first four fights that they're dissatisfied at this point. Well, that's one thing about right up hey. boxing, and the difference of opinion. Come on, baby, keep popping. Makes it interesting, and a difference of style. Pop, pop, pop makes a boxing match, and it certainly here is the first round is about to end. And Biggs is showing good punching power. Keep him right there, keep him right there. Keep Gone right there. is the uh, fleet of foot. Moving in now, and they'll get a rest in less than five minutes, seconds. Hitachi, a world leader in technology, presents quality, backed by the most aggressive research program in our is it white, Tyrell Biggs of Philadelphia. A new style for the six foot five inch big man fighting heavyweight Mike Evans of Chicago in the red. Mike has been kept off balance by the jab and combinations. I doubt if he expected Tyrell Biggs to have this much a change in style. Biggs, who was more of a sweet science boxer, moving around the ring and uh, slipping and ducking punches, is now set as though he wants to level his opponent. Beautifully covering up with the elbows at the midsection. And that's the target for Evans, who is three inches shorter. Wants to punch to the body. Evans keeping those hands up high to block the punches, but those punches are getting through. Scheduled for six rounds. Virgil Hill won. Meldrick Taylor won. Evander Holyfield won. As did Pernell Whitaker. Biggs now beginning to move a little bit. He has uncommon speed for a big man. The crowd, the crowd uh, booing, not really appreciating what they're seeing. But having lived here for 25 years, Evans just caught Biggs. You can expect this. You uh, Normally, they buy a ticket, and they're uh, welcome to boo. But they didn't have to buy tickets for this event. It's a freebie. The New York Daily News and these Olympic boxers making it possible. A night of gold. Coming up to the two-minute mark of round two. Neither fighter has been hurt. 
it's almost like Tyrell Biggs is testing what he's learned at Grossinger's under new trainer George Benton after getting well schooled from Pat Nappy and Roosevelt Sanders. Get it up, get it up. Frustrated, trying to get Evans to drop the hand. Evans tucks the chin in beautifully. And you will notice, because of his wrestling career, which was very successful in college, he has marvelous balance. His defense is pretty darn good thus far. We have about 35 seconds remaining in round two. You're welcome. Has, has to throw more punches in order to do any scoring. Big's not throwing as many as he normally does, but nevertheless, you got to have an opponent that will throw a few so you can find the target. In this case, Evans' is head. Big should try going to the body. We're going to be back with more boxing, but first, this ABC News Brief. An ABC News Brief brought to you by Budweiser Beer. Now from Washington, Tim O'Brien. Good evening. More signals today that American and Soviet officials are moving toward broader discussions on the need for arms talks. Baby Faye continues to improve, and her surgeon says the infant has a chance to live to 21. Hurst on Madison Square Garden. A full capacity crowd. We're in the fifth bout of the evening with Mark Breland up next. A gold medal winner, Tyrell Biggs, is a big tall man in the white trunks. Twice world champion. National champion sports festival champion and he has changed to a style of setting and hitting boxing and now Evans is opening up here in the third round he's been a very defensive fighter in the first two Mark Breland the talk of the town the talk of the nation and the world as a fighter will be in the ring next this bout like Breland's scheduled for six four going by the boards Hill won in the second, Taylor in the first. Holyfield was extended to six rounds. Unanimous decision, Cornell Whitaker, 250 of the second round. Awesome performances. The crowd getting a little bit on this bout because they have seen so much action in the first four that this is tame. But these are heavyweights. Both can punch. And carefully now, they don't want to catch a heavy bomb on the chin. Stations along the line that at the end of this round will take a station break. This is the third round. The actor Mike Evans. He has had very little professional experience in its showing. Five fights, three wins, a loss, and a draw. Turned pro in 1983. He's been working in the sound stages, the studios, more than been fighting. Biggs is getting a little bit of a test. Biggs now trying to circle around to his right hand, and he shouldn't do that. Evans tried to unload it with a right-hand lead. A good left by Mike Evans. Tyrell uh, rubbing his nose, and he had a slight nosebleed. Biggs in the white trunks. ABC Sports has followed Tyrell Biggs over a lot of years. We have, and one of his problems has been stamina. Now, in the amateur ranks, he was only asked to go three. This is the third, but tonight he must go six. He's throwing a lot of punches. It may not seem like he's expending a lot of energy, but he is. And he's finding that Mike Evans is taking anything that gets through. And there he is wincing now. Tyrell Biggs, he can't understand his opponent. They'll get a minute rest in a moment. This ABC Sports exclusive will return with more boxing competition after this word from our local station. I bet you're a tough cookie of a customer. But look at this. Biggs, with the most amazing produce, meat, and fish departments. Fashion, sporting goods, electronics, and more. Oh. Don't be sold so easily. There's still Big's true minimum price. 12 News tonight. Referee Luis Rivera 
of the Bronx, New York. The referee brings them to the center stage here at Madison Square Garden. Mike Evans, the opponent from Chicago, opened up here at the beginning of the fourth round, scheduled for six. Tyrell Biggs in white, the Olympic gold medal super heavyweight champion, was told in his corner between rounds by his co-manager, Lou Duva, please open up. You can do it. So, let's see if that advice is taken by Biggs. Six feet five, 223 pounds, 225 pound Mike Evans in the red trunks. And as Mike Evans said in his commercial, kid, you'll get your chance. Mike felt this was his chance in boxing. As an actor, he's doing well. But he uh, is faced now with a menacing long left jab, and there a right uppercut to him by Biggs. Missing with the right hand was Evans. Jab, that's what Biggs wants to be doing here. Going to the body, trying to drop that right arm. This is such a change in styles that Biggs looks a little uncomfortable fighting this way. Perhaps he should go back to his amateur style. We have about a minute and a half remaining in the fourth. The right hand lead got through, thrown by Biggs. The left hook missed. Now Mike Evans just unloaded a good shot. Now Biggs is up on his toes. He was stunned by that shot from Evans. Fourth round, a minute and ten seconds to go. Now Biggs is starting to move that mobility, lateral movement, which he has lacked up to this point. Locked beautifully that right hand by Biggs. Ducking inside another right. Those are blocked by Evans. Left hook got through by Evans. 50 seconds left in round four. Mike Evans of Chicago, his sixth pro bout, more than willing. He may open up in rounds five and six if he feels he can take Biggs' punches. Just playing it a little cautious, we can't blame him. Gets through a good left hook, the side of the face of Biggs, who has been knocked out. Teofilo Stevenson, of course, the great Cuban, knocked him out. All right, five seconds, and they're going to hear the bell. Vietnam, 1984. Chuck Norris, one American who couldn't forget our soldiers missing in action. We deny the Madison Square Garden. We move into round five of the heavyweight bout, scheduled for six between the gold medal winner Tyrell Briggs and White, who went back to his amateur style a little more at the end of the last round. And perhaps Mike Evans, his opponent from Chicago, at 225 pounds, who was covering up throughout the first five, five rounds, four rounds rather, was playing possum. Biggs has a mouse, a swollen area under his left eye, a nosebleed sustained near the end of that last round. He was pretty much damaged up against Damiani in the gold medal bout in Los Angeles. All right. Now he's back to a set fighter. Set to punch. The left hooks. The left jab. And now Evans starts throwing his own left jab. Proving that he can do it. A one-two that got through. Two quick little jabs. Half uppercuts. Another jab by Biggs. There have been no knockdowns. You know, Mike Evans has gone against some pretty good sparring partners, too. Tex Cobb. Jerry Cotsia. So, he's been in against hitters. Keeps those hands high. Mike Evans breathing very hard now. And we keep watching the stamina of Biggs, who's had problems in the past, because he has thrown a lot of punches. He has never gone this far before. Three only in all of those amateur bouts, totaling 114. The 
crowd now sensing that Mike Evans may be getting the upper hand here as Biggs goes back up, starts using this 22-foot square ring at Madison Square Garden. And it's been mostly the jab. Another. Now, Biggs wisely going to the body and then bringing it back upstairs. This is the fifth round. Fairly good left hook. Glancing blow thrown by Evans in red. The LSU wrestler trying to pick up the pace here. He was pressuring Biggs a little bit more here in this fifth round. We have less than 30 seconds left. And then the final round. And then Mark Breland, the welterweight gold medal winner. Dancing around, he's dancing and moving right into the power of Evans, the right hand. A little dangerous. One more round to go. They'll get a rest in about two seconds. This year, one out of every six cars will need to have it. All right, the sixth and final round. Heavyweight, gold medal winner and super heavyweight class. First time ever in the Olympic Games. Tyrell Biggs, who's had his hands full. Evans now from Chicago. This is his last chance to impress this capacity crowd at the Garden and this primetime, nighttime audience here on ABC. He hasn't really landed a heavy punch. You can punch, but he has been bothered by a menacing left jab, an occasional left hook, and right hand leads from Biggs. now is leaning forward and is his chin ever exposed it is not tucked in it's out there what a target for Evans should he be able to get a right hand through about two minutes remaining and professional debut both punches blocked Those jabs, those hooks, are off-balance punches, whether they're landing on the body or caught in the gloves, which causes the opponent not to have an opportunity to unload, like there. The crowd now getting on these two heavyweights in Madison Square Garden. is starting to put together fast combinations. Evans takes everything he throws. Biggs and all his amateur bouts has scored 41 KOs. That's in a 108 victory. They're partially getting through. Evans started the round looking as though he was going to open up. But 50 seconds and the bout will be over. Neither fighter knocked down, a small swollen area under Biggs' left eye, a nosebleed, which has been stopped by Ace Murata and Georgie Benton in the corner between rounds, and breathing heavily as Biggs. And why not? He's never gone this far, although he's trained to go at least six. Now Evans, less than a half minute. This is his chance. Biggs. Now getting off the ropes, smiling a bit at Evans. He probably shouldn't do that. Now he'll stay away for the next seven seconds or so because his debut will have been completed. There it is. Okay. We'll be back for the decision by the three judges after this. Bud Light? If you just ask for a light beer, you never know what you'll get. Uh, give me a light. Uh, Bud Light. Hold this, please. So if you want the less filling light beer with the... Headed Chrysler Building. Right now, my pal Al Michaels has an interesting interview. Well, Michael Spinks is no stranger to the Olympics. He's a light heavyweight champion of the world. Your impression of the fight you just saw, Michael? The fight I just saw, I thought it was a very good fight. 
Um, well, as you know, both of them, neither one was a very powerful puncher. So it, it most likely, fights like these uh, will go to distance. Right. I thought Biggs was real good, though. Get the decision right now. In his professional boxing debut, Biggs.